Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about good behavior in the classroom. Watch these students as we show you how to have good behavior. Now that is what I call being kind. Now let's see what it looks like to follow directions. All right, boys and girls, it is time to clean up our area and then pass your papers to Elijah. Great job following directions. Now let's see what it looks like to do your best. was a great example by Sophie of doing your best. Boys and girls, these are the good behaviors for your classroom. Today we are going to find out what good behavior looks like in the hallway. Let's see if these kids can tell us. Travel quietly. Stay in line. So yellow jackets, that is what it looks like to have good behavior in the hallway. All right, boys and girls, today we are going to learn about good behavior in the bathroom. Make sure you do your job quickly, wash your hands, and always keep the bathroom clean, even if you're not the one who made the mess. everyone to enjoy lunch and we can do that if we follow these simple rules. The first part of being in the lunchroom is to make sure you exit in an orderly manner. Again, we don't run in the lunchroom. Finally, when we are leaving the lunchroom, make sure you stop at the blue line and then go to the window to put your tray away. The next person in line does not leave the blue line until the lady in the window waves them to come to them. Now, once you're in the lunchroom, let's remember the lunchroom rules. Number one, stay seated. Look at these boys and girls. They're on their bottom with their feet on the floor. Number two, use an inside voice. Kids at other tables shouldn't hear you, just your neighbor. And finally, at the end, clean your mess. Even if that mess is not yours, make sure your table is clean before we get ready to go. Finally, make sure you are picking up some healthy food. The 
next thing we're going to do is get a milk, a fork. Then once you get your tray, you'll put your napkin on your tray and put your milk on top so it doesn't blow away. The first thing we need to do is make sure you get a napkin. First of all, it is very important that we enter the lunchroom in an orderly manner. No money. This isn't recess. Good morning, friends. Today we are going to talk about good behavior in the cafeteria. Number one, we need to stay seated on your bottom. That means we don't get on our knees or get up and run to our teacher. Second, we need to use inside voices. Ugh, so many kids tell me they don't like going to the lunchroom because it's too loud. And finally, make sure you clean up your mess. If there's a wrapper on the floor, you can pick it up, even if it's not yours. Good morning, Yellow Jackets. Today, we're going to talk about good behavior on the playground. If you're going to have good behavior on the playground, make sure you follow the playground rules, include everyone, and if it's a big deal, you report it to a, an adult. If it's a little deal, you will take care of it with your friends. What are some playground rules? Don't stand in front of the slide. Push people down the slide. Do not climb up the slide. Please slide down the slide. Never get too close in front of the swing. Make sure you include everyone. Make sure you only report big deals to the teacher. 